What's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to walk you through the installation of the Dakota Tactical modular handguard system for uh, for the MP5 and other other roller lock platforms. Off camera we've already gone ahead and uh, cleared this firearm as safe for handling so we're good to go there. When you unbox the MHS you're going to receive obviously the handguard as well as uh, two hex keys, a large and a small. So getting started with it, first thing you're going to want to do is remove the large cross screw. So go ahead and loosen it up. And this is the securing bolt that attaches it and firm to the gun. You're going to set that aside. See if the hanger here has a little bit of play in it. Uh, you're going to want to loosen these two side screws up. If not, just, to, just enough that you can get a full range of, uh, of travel here in the slots. Now, if you're installing the K model of this, you're going to want to push that hanger all the way back in the far rearward position. And then you're going to want to take your hex key and you're going to want to go ahead and just snug up very gently one side to hold it in place. It is, it is important on the K models for clearance during installation that this hanger is all the way in the rear position. As far as the full size gun goes, full size uh, handguard, it's irrelevant. You're going to want to go ahead and uh, for ease of installation, just make sure that there's the ability to, uh, to, to slide that back and forth. So to install, it's pretty straightforward. Go ahead and take it, tilt it up on the gun, slide it in place, line up the hole. You can use the hex key if you want to, to kind of put that in there and get it lined up. Go ahead and drop the cross bolt in. And at this point, you're just going to want to make it finger snug. Don't, don't torque it down. Just snug it up with your finger so it doesn't move. Now your handguard here, uh, I'm going to point something out. Let me go ahead and loosen this up a little bit more. When we, when we designed these, we went ahead and we designed a, a bit of a safety into them. If the mounting mechanism comes loose, uh, you can see the handguard can still slide back and forth here and it's going to stay on the gun. Uh, we did that in the event of some type of hardware malfunction so you don't end up ripping the handguard off the gun during operation. That is assuming that the hanger for the handguard is not too far forward. Now there are some tolerances from manufacturer to manufacturer, even, you know, just standard production deviations on where this hanger mounts. But as long as it is within uh, a reasonable point of, of accuracy of where it's supposed to be, this, this handguard is not going to fall off of this gun, even if the hardware comes loose. But anyhow, uh, at this point, you're going to want to go ahead and push that handguard all the way back, seat it firmly against the trunnion here. And then you can go ahead and take the small key. You don't have to over tighten it, just firm it up on one side. Flip the gun over. And then go ahead and just firm it up on the other side. Now, we're going to go back to the large cross bolt. Forgive me, I'm not looking at the camera when I do this, so if I keep taking it out of frame, uh, that's the reason why. All right, go ahead. and Now, at this point, you just want to make it firm. You don't have to over-tighten it. On, on both sizes of screws, uh, we used a screw material and a surface material that, that offers a, a little bit of bite when you tighten them down. So you don't have to over-tighten them. They are not... You're not going to come loose with, with reasonable amount of aggressive operation of the gun um, with, with a firm amount of tightening pressure. You don't want to damage I mean, it's steel on aluminum, so you don't want to strip them. You don't want to damage them. And these are small screws, and, and there is potential for that. So you want to make them snug, not tight. So once you've gone ahead and snugged the large one up, go ahead and go back. And just give a, a little bit of shoring up on the smaller screws. And again... Cannot emphasize enough, do not over tighten them. Just give them a little, little pinch and away we go. And that's it. It is that simple. That is how you install the modular handguard system by Dakota Tactical. Hey, thanks for watching.